Okay, so really quick before you guys get into the actual parts of the video, uh, I made two recordings of two different times I opened Dollar Tree packs. Uh, there was one where I went to a Dollar Tree and opened up Ultra Prism packs, and then another one where I found Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs, which I have not heard anyone talk about yet. So uh, instead of doing two separate uploads, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one upload. So you're gonna see some really weird edits, and then there's not really a smooth transition from my Ultra Prism opening to my forbidden light opening so i do apologize for that but i figured you know i just i didn't want to waste like uh your guys's time having to watch two separate videos or drag out two videos uh for for really no reason um i just want to just cram it into one and i don't think it's that long of a video i hope not if it is i i'm sorry but anyway um, I think this should now transition into the Ultra Prism pack openings first, uh, and then if you stick around long enough, you'll see the Forbidden Light ones that I opened up, and then that's going to be pretty much it. So uh, hopefully it's not as choppy as I think it's going to be. I did a thing that I didn't think I was going to do anytime soon. Uh, something that I was very hesitant to always do, or very hesitant to do in general, just because the value of it just didn't seem right but then i see everyone else opening these things and it, they just pull some really awesome cards so i was at the dollar tree the other day and i decided why not go and pick up some dollar tree packs i've never ever um i've never opened up dollar tree packs before uh it's always uh i've always been hesitant to, hesitant to because like you only get three cards and you're just never guaranteed any of those cards so or any of the good cards um but you know you see them all the time people on uh on youtube are just like all constantly pulling like full arts and and uh you know just some ultra rares and just just a lot of good things in general and there's always the chance of course of someone like going in and weighing these packs but these were actually kind of um like right at the register like kind of uh, there was like four boxes of these there was three ultra prism and a crimson invasion and they were just like right next to the the balloons and stuff and and i just didn't know if they were for sale too because they were just like weirdly placed but anyway uh i went ahead and picked up 10 of them 10 packs uh i'm hoping to get at least one ultra rare pull out of these packs and sorry for the lighting um the parking lot that i am right now uh there's no like um, what is it like street lamps or anything like that so uh, it's kind of a bit tricky to um, uh, to record and, and get the light and stuff like that right but uh, hopefully you guys see the cards enough but we're gonna go ahead and open up these packs and uh, and see what it is that we get um, like I said I'm I'm slightly nervous because you know you're never guaranteed so you get these look at this look, look at that there's they're like um, promoting their uh, card game and then like watch pokemon tv on on the go which is actually a pretty nice app uh and now i think the card trick is like it's the middle card so let's see if i did this right so there's an energy uh lick a tongue and it no way no way i have to see this for myself oh my gosh you have got to be kidding me. This card alone pays for like, what? Almost double of what I paid? That's insane. A full art Dusk Main Necrozma GX. That is nuts. That is ridiculous. And this is just, I, man, and I'm, I feel horrible for not being in like good light because this is just a sight for sore eyes holy crap i cannot believe i just pulled that out of the very first one too very first one and it had a metal energy to match go figure um that's just that's insane i mean if my I, that's it we're done all right video's done bye guys you know like subscribe do you know i just i don't know what else to do that's just crazy all right here we go all right second pack oh man uh, alright, there you go, another little, like, they're just promoting stuff, Pokemon.com, oh, this one's promoting their website now, alright, so, one to the front, here we go, Looker Whistle, Bronzor, and a Krogog, hey, if anything, I get now bulk that I can just add for more trade-in credit, but, man, I can't believe we just pulled a four, that's probably gonna be the only card, uh, that we, 
uh, pull too. The only good card that we pull. We'll see. Print pull up, Gibble, and a Shaman, which is a rare actually. So very nice. Uh, let's see. This is a Giratina pack art. Uh, one to the front. That'd be pretty sweet if we did get another ultra rare pool. A reverse Riolu. It's very nice. Again, I apologize for the lighting if it's not all that great. I will try to pick somewhere better next time. Uh, oh, this one's promoting their play Pokemon. If you want to go for the world championships, which is something I'm really heavily considering doing for the next season. Once the rotation hits, once the world championships is over this year, I don't know. I think I really want to try my luck at the um, at Pokemon League Cups and and just see where I go. I mean, even if I don't get anywhere, I, I just want the experience of it. You know, I just I just want the experience of you know being part of play Pokemon. I did a regional event, um, I think about a couple years ago. That's where I got my Articuno hat that you guys might have seen in my Instagram picture. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I just had to drop out after the first round because I didn't know, or I didn't realize that I had to be there for the full two days if I were to continue on if I had made it far. So I don't know. I mean, I tied my first match. So uh, I don't know if I was going to get anywhere. Ooh, a reverse Lucario. Very nice. Um, so I wasn't sure if I was going to really get anywhere, but you know, I think I really, really want to try my luck this time around and, you know, see see where I go with it. Uh, Pokemon.com promo. All right, Metal Energy. Do we get another full art across? No, but we do get a holographic Magmortar. Guys, I might just have to go back and get the rest of that box. It did look like a fresh opened box, so I probably got most of the good stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's so crazy that I just got a full art Dusk Me Necrozma. That is just nuts. Ooh, unit energy reverse. And I'm not pulling too bad of cards. I do get, I have to have two, two packs left, two packs left. We're saving Dusk Mane for last because that's our boy right now. And you know, the more I see Dusk Mane, the more I'm starting to like Dusk Mane more so than Dawn Wings. I feel a little bad for saying that, but I, I think that is go that is the case right now. Kranidos, Eevee, and a Buizel. Um, Here we go. Last pack. Please give me the good luck. Uh, that would just be awesome if, uh, if I pull another Ultra Rare of any kind, really. Uh, let's see. One to the front. Fairy Energy. Uh, Chimchar and a Drapion. All right, so, yep, yeah, um, got a lot of bulk here that, you know, I could sort through, get, get some trading credit and things like that. Uh, but obviously, the highlight was this card, uh, a Full Art Dusk Main Necrozma, which, again, I'm pretty sure pays for, like, almost double of what I paid for all these packs. So, uh, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty happy. This was totally worth it um i'm um, yeah yeah there's all sorts of joy right now but yeah they i think i'm gonna have to buy some more not tonight not tonight but i think over the summer it's gonna be like budget summer or something like that so you know expect more dollar tree packs in the future but this is oh this is so awesome i'm so excited to be uh to to put this in my binder okay so that was my uh, Ultra Prism Dollar Tree opening, as you can tell, uh, or I already saw that I pulled a full art Dusk Main Necrozma, beautiful card, uh, beautiful pull for my first time ever opening up Dollar Tree packs, totally worth it. Uh, so then now it should transition to the next video where I open up some, for some Forbidden Light packs and then you can check out what I got there and then that's going to be pretty much and, it. Uh, decided to stop by another Dollar Tree today and lo and behold, we got more Dollar Tree packs. But more importantly, we got Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs. They have Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs and I this is the first time I've seen uh, these at all first time I've heard anyone even talk about or even just is the first of anything of Forbidden Light Dollar Tree Pack So I figured why not? Hey buy another 10 see where it takes me can't go wrong here So I'm just gonna go ahead for it. Let me get my little trash can set up so that way, you know, I can throw my uh, Booster pack garbage in there, but okay, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's do this little promo thing here I don't think anyone I don't know who keeps those. I don't know if anyone 
it keeps us at all. I feel like maybe it's kind of a waste. Dakers V, Helioptile, and a Bergmite. Okay, so nothing in that one. Obviously, I'm saving the Greninjas for last. I think I only got two Greninja Arts. I didn't really spend time, like, digging through and, and uh, picking out specific artwork, so I just went ahead and just grabbed 10 that I grabbed, so hopefully I got something. Dewblade, Magnemite, and a Skrelp. All right, so far, it's not looking good. Not looking good, but it's okay. I mean, they were only a dollar, so it's not like we should be expecting the best of the best here. Plus, for all we know, uh, someone probably already went in and just kind of, I don't know, uh, weighed them, I guess, if they could. I don't, I'm not sure how exactly that works. I don't know if you can, like, feel to see how heavy the packs are. Uh, it might be a little bit easier seeing that the code cards, I don't know if they do the co or the, the promo cards, whatever cards you want to call them. I don't know if they do it the same uh, as like the code. If there was a cut there, I'm sorry. Um, my phone kind of acted wacky. But anyway, v Vivian, rare. I, that's what I was trying to point out last time. Uh, anyway, so I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I can't quite remember. Got distracted. Oh, weighing the packs. Yeah, like I said, I wonder if anyone like weighs the packs, if they're different colors or anything like that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, Zygarde, Pancham, and a Bergmite. So far, nothing too fancy and i think i have what one two three four five five packs to go so i'm only halfway there um i got two greninjas a zygarde and two Nag Nag uh, naganadels sorry everyone pronounces it differently but um again even if i don't get anything i will be upset but uh it's not like the end of the world uh i can't really expect much from a dollar tree uh, booster packs. They are what they are. Diggersby, Froakie, and Inhilioptile. What is actually discerning is that, let me go through my cards here really quick. I don't have a single reverse. I don't have a single reverse anything. Not even a reverse common or an uncommon. No reverse rares. Nothing of that sort. So I'm not quite sure how I should feel about that. Uh, I would have expected at least one reverse something, but Oh well, again, Dollar Tree packs, you never know with these things. Maybe the first wave just isn't supposed to be all that fantastic. Nothing in that pack either. All right, Naganadel. let's see what you got. These booster packs are a little bit easier to open in my opinion. See, and then there's some that come like this. I'm, I'm wondering if that's supposed to counter some weight. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 the whole way things just an issue overall. It's sad that people have to do it. Keep on. They don't have to do it. They just they just do. All right. So we got two Greninjas. Hopefully one of them has a Greninja 3x in it. I don't know. I just want something amazing. Anything. I'll take a reverse unit energy for all I care. Scatterbug and a Zygarde is a rare. So I am getting rares. Just no ultra rares or secret rares. Nothing of that sort. So here we go. Last pack. There's that little card again. Psychic energy. A Froki and a Crow Gunk. Ah! <laughs> Oh man, I've got absolutely nothing out of this. Throw away that energy. That energy, ugh, too much energy all over the place. All right, let me let me go through this really quick. So Vivian, it was a rare. Um, who else was a rare? Try, let's go, let's go. Uh, Zygarde, that's it. That's it. I just got two regular rares out of all of that. Watch all the good stuff be still back there in the store. I don't know. If I come across some extra money, maybe I'll go and buy the rest. We shall see. But this is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there because I don't think anyone else has really opened up Forbidden Light Booster, Dollar Tree Booster Packs, at least uh, to my knowledge. I could be wrong, though. By the time this video uploads, maybe there's, like, a whole bunch of people that have done it. But this is still pretty cool. Um, 10 bucks, you know, I got some bulk. That's fine. I need some extra bulk anyway, but that's gonna be it guys uh, Go check out your Dollar Tree stores Seriously, I mean you get sometimes really good cards. You saw in my last video of my Ultra Prism Dollar Tree packs totally worth it uh, It's and it's fun and it's cheap. Like it's like getting 10 booster packs for 10 bucks You know, it's only three cards short, but hey, it, there's not much to complain here a plus all the way All right, please like subscribe comment do what you gotta do. See y'all later